Greetings, 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 family. This is Sis D, and I just wanted to drop a heavy, heavy message for y'all this morning, okay? So, get ready, buckle up your seatbelts, and strap in, okay? So, the message that came to me was, you chosen ones, you light workers, you atmosphere shifters, y'all have we have superpowers. I'm going to say it again. You chosen ones, you light workers, you atmosphere shifters, you have superpowers. And the thing is, our enemy knows that we have superpowers. They wanted to disconnect the dots of our heritage so that we would know how to go back and follow the breadcrumbs to remind us of who we truly were as the chosen ones in this earth. I'm going to give y'all some examples, okay? So that you guys don't think Sis D is way out there. I know she speaks of spiritual things, but this is way out there. And here, I'm going to even throw this one in as a nugget. And I'm, I'm just going by spirit, y'all. So this is not really so say scripted. I'm just going as spirit gives me. I'm sharing with you guys, okay? All of the... Uh, action movies, i.e. Um, super characters, the Hitches, the Scorpion King movies, the anything that has to do with superheroes, they have examples that have been taken out of the Holy Scriptures. Yes, I I'm, I'm saying it and I'm going to prove it to y'all through the Holy Scriptures, and then I'm going to bring it to modern day. This might be a longer video, so I hope y'all strap in, and I hope that y'all can stay with me, okay? So let's just go here. Let's just go here really quickly. So if we go back to the Holy Scriptures and we think about um, Adam, right? Adam had the ability, whether you believe the Holy Scriptures or not, I'm going to bring it up to modern day, okay? So Adam had the ability to speak to the animals. He was able to call them forth and get an understanding of what their instincts were. And that's how he had the ability to name them. The Most High gave him that authority in the earth. So Dr. Doolittle movie, guess what? It came from biblical characters. Also, if we fast forward, not only Adam had the ability to speak to the insects and the animals and the earth, but Noah. How do y'all think Noah, if you believe or don't believe, I'm going to bring it up to date. How do y'all think if the story was true, how do you think Noah had the ability to bring all of those diverse animals onto this big, big size ship? How? How? He had the authority through the Most High to speak to the creations in the earth and to understand their language. Each animal is not just here moving off instinct. Animals have language too. That yes, they might not communicate in words like we do, but they have language. The birds have beautiful song signatures, and I'm going to get to that a little bit later. The lions, they roar. Elephants, they have these sonic rumbles. We didn't know till now that elephants have a sonic rumble that's undetectable to the human, human ear. But other elephants can hear that four or five miles away. They're just now finding it out. So, let me go. Okay, so... Noah and Elijah, ancient versions of Dr. Doolittle, had the ability to speak to the animals, to understand their language. And let me throw another one in. King Solomon, the son of David, who we know for a fact lived in the earth. It's historical. He, King Solomon then goes on to marry um, Queen Sheba of Cush. Historical. He had the ability to understand the insects. There's a story in the Quran that says a Hopi bird went to Cush and had a report for him and came back and said, my great king, sorry that I'm late for the, the signing for the armies because Solomon had humans, jinns, and animals, right? 
So this one bird was over in Cush surveying what was going on. He was part of King Solomon's army. He came and reported to the king and told King Solomon, there's this queen in Cush. She has a lot of things. She has a great a great throne, but they're bowing and prostrating themselves down to the sun and they worship the sun. They don't worship the most high God. King Solomon said, I'm going to go deal with it. But he had to check that out first from a report of a bird. King Solomon had the ability to listen to the insects in the earth. The Quran also has a story about him hearing some ants cry, say, oh, you ants, oh, you ants, please move fast and go into your burrows. For the great King Solomon comes with his army. If you don't move and go into your burrows, you might be crushed. King Solomon was able to understand insects, y'all. King Solomon. Yes. So the movie Dr. Doolittle, where Dr. Doolittle was able to talk to the animals and listen to them. That's biblical. Biblical. Okay, I'm going to keep going. Okay, so Joshua. Let me go. Joshua, an Israelite leader, was able to speak to the sun and to the moon and tell it to stand still in the sky. That's the ability to manipulate the elements. Right? I started off by saying, you chosen ones, you light workers, you atmosphere shifters, we have superpowers. But the powers that be in the earth now, the ones who are running things, have chopped us off from our heritage to where we don't know how to reconnect the dots to figure out how do we go back and activate them, to tap into them and make those superpowers actually fully come back online. Those who of us are chosen, we know because we've seen these little glimmers. We already know. You atmosphere workers, you've been in church or you've been somewhere and you've said something and it actually comes to pass because of the words that you use. So we have these little glimmers. But in this hour in the earth, y'all, we need to fully, fully tap in, re-fully charge ourselves so all of those superpower abilities can actually come online. It's time. It's time now, y'all, in the earth, right now. Those, if you tap in correctly, if you discipline yourself and you learn to quiet the noise in your mind, your superpowers are going to increasingly come online. Let me give you some more examples. Moses. Moses had the ability with his staff through the power of the Most High that was given to him to manipulate the elements too. We all know about the, the story of Moses taking the Israelites through the Red Sea. How did he do it? The Most High gave him a staff. Moses slammed the staff down in the Red Sea, which is in part of an ocean. And the water separated. And when the Israelites were going across, it was a wall of water on one side. It was a wall of water on the other side. Moses had a great wind to come to dry out the seabed. So when the children of Israel were going across, the seabed was not wet and soggy. It was solid because it had dried out enough for those million and something people with their animals, carts and every, all their worldly belongings. They were able to walk across on the seafloor and it was not soggy, y'all. The ability to control the elements through the power of the Most High given them. So how tripped out would you be as a person if you're walking through the ocean and you see creatures coming up to this one wall, but you know it's just still ocean, but it's stuck there like you in a living aquarium. Moses was able to do that. Superpowers, y'all. Superpowers. I talk about the water nation. Y'all who are in the water nation, there are still people in this earth who have the ability to speak to water and to control water. There are y'all of those of y'all that are in the earth nation, in the fire nations. The most high has given us those abilities. But the powers that be said, no, that's ooh, it's spooky. It's weird. You don't have it. We do. Y'all, we do. Okay, so Noah, Elijah, Solomon. Joshua, Moses, Ezekiel. Ezekiel went into this battle, into this valley. It was a big battle there. And in the battle, there was a lot of casualties. 
some of the uh, ones that lost the battle, they weren't able to come and collect the bones of their dead. So in this valley, it was known that there was just a whole lot of human carcasses out there because of this battle that was fought. A lot of, a lot of dry bones. Ezekiel was able to go out into this valley that they named. He was able to speak to the dry bones through the power of the Most High. Those bones began to come together, tendons and ligaments first, then muscle, then flesh. Then he was able through the power of the Most High called breath to come back in them. And Ezekiel then saw this army standing back in flesh from bone to flesh in front of his eyes because of the power, the superpowers the Most High gave them. He, the Most High told him, speak to these dry bones. That's when I keep saying, y'all, you atmosphere changers, if you know you have the ability to speak those things and they come to pass. Ezekiel had it. Ezekiel had it. And we in the earth now, we still have those superpowers. Not all of us are gifted that way. Some of us might have one or two gifts or one or two abilities. Some of us might just have one gift or one ability. Some of us might have multiple abilities. And those things, if y'all discipline yourselves and tap in now, they're going to come online stronger. But you got to discipline yourselves. The life of a chosen one cannot be reckless. Food is important. Water is important. Exercising your body is important. Getting those sun frequencies are important. Staying tapped into the most high is of utmost importance. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to give you all some more examples because I told you I'm going to bring you from old to new. Right? So Noah, Elijah, Solomon, Joshua, uh, 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 Ezekiel, Samson. Oh, oh, let me go back. Ezekiel, Ezekiel, the example of Ezekiel and the Valley of the Dry Bones. If y'all watch the movie Scorpion King with the rock in it, they had a scene with uh, General G, if I'm not mistaken. He called forth an army of bones. Y'all remember that? Go watch Scorpion King. That scene in the movie with this general who called forth the army of skeletons. That comes from Ezekiel 30, 37, 1 and 14. Y'all, I'm not playing. We got superpowers. I'm going to prove it to you. I'm going to prove it to you. Okay, so I got it to Ezekiel, right? Samson. We all know the story of Samson. Samson had superpowers. He was super strong. Super strong. Was pulling down stuff. Killing full-grown lions, young lions with his hands. He had superpowers, y'all. Super strong. We in the earth now, we chosen ones, we still have those abilities, those superpowers, okay? Elijah and Elisha. They have the ability to raise people from the dead. That's right. Raising people from the dead. If you go back to Genesis, the Most High God said, I have, he had created mankind from the dust or dirt of the ground. Ground has minerals. Every mineral in our human bodies can be found in the earth. If you go back to Genesis and the creation story, Elijah and Elisha was able to go back to those dead bodies and speak to them because we are dust. We are made up of the elements that are in the earth. As the Most High said in Genesis, we have those same mineral makeups in our bodies Elijah and Elisha, Elijah and Elisha were able to speak to those bodies and bring them back to life. <laughs> okay, superpowers. I'm not playing. We still got them. Some of y'all in the earth, y'all don't know it because people have said to you, oh, it's medically impossible. No, it goes against science. You can't do that. Nobody can bring bodies back to the dead. I dare some of y'all to begin to tap in to your superpowers. And then be, be able to go into these hospitals or go speak to these bodies or these people who are laying at their last breaths of life and speak to them. Lay your hands on them if the Most High commands you to. But find out first. Wait, let me caution you. Wait, wait, wait. Let me caution y'all. 
Don't do this haphazardly. If you don't know for a fact that is your gifting or your ability, don't go put your hands. Let me say it again. Let me calm down because I'm excited right now. Don't go putting your hands on anybody unless spirit gives you information, direction, or understanding of that is what you are supposed to do. Okay? All right, y'all? Uh, okay. All right. So, this I told y'all about y'all energy, keeping it plain, plain and clear, especially when people are transitioning. Don't want to put your hands on people. Be laying your hands on people. If the most high didn't tell you, if great spirit didn't tell you, put your hands on people. Keep your hands to yourself until you know that's your gifting or ability. Okay? Elijah and Elisha, able to speak to the dead and bring them back to life. Y'all, it's multiple, multiple scriptures that talk about this. Let me bring y'all up to modern day. Modern day. There are many First Nation tribes that still do rain dances, that still do harvest or crop dances. These are activities to manipulate the elements and bring forth those things. The rain dance is an activity where there is dryness and they need rain to help the people survive. To this very day, there are First Nations that do that still. There are First Nations that have recently, and I'm talking about in the last maybe 50 or so years, that did crop dances to help produce a harvest. They're going out, they're doing a dance, giving praise to Great Spirit to actually have that harvest come forward to feed the people. Yes, y'all, we have superpowers, but you got to tap in. You got to know who you are in the earth in this last hour. We're in a really critical, crucial time, y'all. I hope and pray that this message resonates with you all, that it wasn't too far out there that y'all were able to strap in. I know this is a long one. I hope that y'all were able to strap in and actually go with me. I'm going to leave in the description all of the biblical examples of the people that I named, bringing you from the olden people up to the modern day First Nations that still use these things to manipulate the elements. Y'all go back and watch these movies, whether it be the cartoons like The Incredibles. All of those characters have abilities or giftings that come out of the Holy Scriptures. X-Men, a very popular movie, one of my favorites. Most of those characters have abilities and giftings that come from examples of the Holy Scriptures. Spider-Man, all of these superhero could hitch. You name a kind of superhero type movie. Those, cre those movies are created from people that come from the scriptures, even up into modern days where they have been recorded. There have been people even in the 1600s, 1700s, 1800s that were able to do these things that nobody understood how they were able to do them. We have superpowers. We just got to tap in. Thank you, y'all, for hanging in there. For those of y'all who made it all of these 18 plus minutes, I appreciate each and every one of you. I hope and pray that this message actually speaks to you and that you guys are able to realize your giftings and abilities. If anybody wants to know more, I know it's way out there, but if anybody wants to know more, you guys drop me a comment. If this resonates with you guys, please, to help the channel grow, like and share, subscribe if you have not. I'll be giving more messages as great spirit as the most high gives to me. And I definitely will be obedient and share with the people. I appreciate y'all so much for coming in to take time with me. I never want to close out any of my videos without saying vibe up y'all. Vibe up. This is D and I'm out. Y'all have a great one.